Hey guys, so today I have this spring inspired look for you. It's also inspired by like Easter colors with the pastel pinks and purples and I just wanted to like get out of my comfort zone and use purples because I never really use them that often unless it's like a smokier look but I feel like it's super feminine and super what I would have loved as a child to do because I was totally into anything that was pink and purple as a child so I don't know I was just inspired for spring it's cold where I'm living and I'm just ready for it to be spring so I also wanted to play with the wet and wild metallic liquid liner I had gotten in soft in pink coffee pink coffin um, it looks like this and ugh, it's not my favorite line in the world just because of the brush tip applicator but you'll see my dilemma with this um, as the tutorial goes on so without further ado I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it okay so I already did one eye so let me show you how I got this look over here starting off I'm going with my elf shadow lock eyelid primer in the shade sheer I use it all the time it's just like a cheap little option um it works pretty well though not like the most long lasting thing ever but i don't mind it i feel like it does a good job for me and it's really inexpensive um just as a base so it doesn't really bother me Now I'm going to take this B by Bubs Beauty and BH Cosmetics palette. It's an older one that I got um, about a year ago, but it has like the prettiest lavender purple color, um, and I kind of want to make this kind of an Easter look, so I figured I would just take the shade Kind right here, and then I'm going to darken it up a little bit with the shade Confident, which is a darker purple, um, just because this one isn't as pigmented as that one is but I just like to like rotate between the two to get the shade that I want. So I'm gonna go first with Kind, which is the lighter lavender color, and work that into my crease. See how it's like really pretty, um, but it's very muted, very like light lavender, which is a very light look like a more daytime spring look but I am going to go now in with confident and just deepen that up a tad bit more then I'm going to go in with the shade hopeful right here and just apply that all over my lid and this is just a really pretty light sparkly shade nothing too dramatic because this is a very soft look and the pink eyeliner that we're using is very soft so I thought that this all complemented each other very well and looked really pretty um, and still unexpected but still very very kind of like soft glam look and then I'm just going to blend out that crease Now I'm going to take the shade Happy on the very end right here on the top and put that on the brow bone. And now I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Mega Liner Metallic Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Pink Coffin. And I recently hauled these and I was really excited to play with it. Um, my only downside with it is that the brush tip it is super wonky so like see as soon as I took it out never like using it other than swatching it that one day the tip is the hairs are like super crazy and it's driving me nuts so I with this eye I couldn't even do it with this eye. I had to like go back in with this other pencil it's just another brush tip but the hairs are very straight so I might well like try washing this one and straighten the hairs out a bit but it is kind of disappointing that it didn't work like not even once to keep it together nicely so just letting you guys know that because I was disappointed in that and I'm just going to use this in like line and then do a slight wing out um, on the upper lash line you 
you do have to like go back in and build this color up. It's like a pretty color, but it's, I don't know, on my skin tone doesn't show up that amazing. And because I have a different size brush, it's like a little bit harder for me to get it back in there. So if your brush is working just fine, then you shouldn't have to dip in as much as I do. But mine isn't getting too deep in there because the handle is a lot thicker. Just for like giggles, I'm gonna try to get this to work a little bit. No, it's just too crazy. Like no matter how much I dip it in there, there's no way that I could create a straight line with that. But I am gonna take the paint off of it with the other brush because this one gets in a lot deeper. That's like the one disappointing thing. So I kind of am afraid to try the white one later, but that one might work. It might be just a drier formula. It's just gunky and messing it up more. I'm not quite sure. I'm really having trouble with this um, the second time around. I guess I had more product on the top of my eyeliner before when I first did the other eye but now it's like really hard to grab and it's just a drier formula it's not like I can really tip it over and have it come out onto this brush so I'm kind of really frustrated with it the color's really pretty but I think I'm I wouldn't invest in these at all I'm just not into it um, but the look's still pretty, so we're just gonna continue because <laughs> I got it to like go on. Next up for mascara, I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Mega Plump Mascara. It looks like this. And just coat the upper lashes. And I didn't want this to be too voluminous because I want you to be able to see the pink eyeliner and because it is so soft this is like dramatic enough for lashes and I think it still looks really pretty and feminine it's like a little bit out of my comfort zone because I like darker eyes or smoky eyes most of the time so I'm just really not used to this like toned down muted eye look but I kind of really dig it at the same time so I don't know, I just wanted to play and do something different on my channel and I was inspired by spring even though here it's still cold. Okay, so now for bottom lashes I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara. Um, this is in very black and it looks like this. And the reason I'm using this one for the bottom mascara, the bottom lash line is because the wand is a lot thinner. So I just work better with thinner wands the bottom lashes especially because mine are like non-existent no pigmentation to them whatsoever now I'm going to go back into the B by Bubs Beauty palette and take the kind shade again and put that all over the bottom lash line It reminds me of an Easter egg, but that's kind of the look I was going for. Like, soft and pretty and feminine and Easter-y. And different. Because normally, I wouldn't be wearing pink and purple. But I feel like this is super duper wearable. And I hope it inspires you all to try something new, too. Because makeup is supposed to be fun. But I feel like this came out totally to my liking and totally up my alley. Now I'm going to go back in with the shade Confident right here and apply that on top of the other lash line but focusing this on the waterline more to darken up the waterline a tad bit more. And now I'm going to take the shade Hopeful 
again that cream shade we put all over the lid and I'm just going to work that on the inner corner. We're still using the same shades so that it's like super easy to recreate. And I feel like there's many palettes that have like similar purples and cream shades so I wanted it to be if you didn't have this palette. Um, this palette is still available by the way. That's why I still use it. I double checked to make sure before I used it. But I didn't have a lot of purple palettes so, you know, I was just trying to find something that would work really well. And now for lips, we're going to take the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Tea and Cookies. I've used this many times on my channel, but I really love this shade when I'm using like pastel colors. And it's a really great like liquid lipstick that's really creamy and really soft on the lips. It's pretty much the same shade as the liner, so I feel like it complements and like brightens the whole face. So that's everything for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed. It is super out of my comfort zone, but I'm really glad I played around with the pinks and purples together because I think this, this is totally wearable, especially for spring, Easter, whatever you want. And I think it's just really soft and feminine and pretty. And so, yeah, I'm, I think that this is a hit. I really don't like the eyeliner at all. The brush, I mean, I like the liner, I just don't like the brush, so that's what sucks about it. I will try it with the white eyeliner that I purchased and see if that is any different, or if it's just because of the texture of the liner, maybe it's like gunking up and maybe after washing it I can fix it, I don't know, I'm going to have to play around with that, but I think it's still a pretty color, I just think that it's fun to try for really inexpensive because those liners are like two to three dollars. So if you just want to play around and you have a liner brush like I did, go for it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing Easter. I think I'll have one more video up before then, but if you celebrate it, have fun and happy spring you guys. I'm really, really dying for hot weather here, so hopefully in a couple days we will get it. Um, especially for Easter, I feel like it's going to be cold on Easter, which is so sad for me. I want to suck like pretty spring dress. But yeah, <laughs> enough rambling. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.